Crystal Ball College Football. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhafer, and let's continue rolling through these Big 12 schedules. Today, we're going to talk about the Texas Longhorns um, in what could be their last season in the Big 12, um, and their schedule looks rather interesting. I know I've heard many Longhorn fans and many people in the media talking about this potentially being Texas's year. They were really solid last year, have a chance to be even better this year. Um, and the schedule sets up pretty well for that outside of obviously that week two matchup against Alabama. But let's go ahead and roll through it. Their first three games, uh, Rice at Alabama and then Wyoming uh, on the schedule. I expect them to go two and one. I understand there might be some reasonable expectations that they can go in there and compete against Alabama. That should be the expectation, but to go in there and beat Alabama, totally different story. Um, I think they'll probably start off 2-1, and one, which, again, I think that's fine. You're playing one of the best teams in the country week two on the road. The next stretch, uh, they go to Baylor, Kansas, and Oklahoma in Dallas. This is another stretch where I'm kind of sitting there going, okay, Tough game against Baylor um, on the road. That'll obviously be a really difficult stretch, a really difficult game for them in my eyes. The Kansas game, they should be able to get through. And then Oklahoma, a team that they destroyed a year ago. But I think Oklahoma's probably going to be very motivated for that reason. It's a rivalry game. So even though I think Texas will be better, that still will be a tough game. Now, the good news is right after this stretch, they get a bye week. Uh, right after that Oklahoma game. Again, 2-1 and one or 3-0 and oh during that stretch probably sounds about right then this next stretch comes up now remember they just had their bye weeks they're gonna have to play six weeks in a row but it's fairly manageable they go to Houston which is only going to be tough just because that is going to be Houston Super Bowl for sure that is going to be a crazy environment and Texas is gonna have to be prepared coming off their bye week uh, to go on the road to Houston for that game then BYU Kansas State both at home at TCU, at Iowa State, and then Texas Tech on Black Friday. Tough stretch. The at TCU game obviously stands out during that run. They have to play Kansas State again, who's a good team. Um, And at Iowa State, always rather difficult, even though I think Texas will be able to beat them. I I would say during that stretch, 5-1 and is kind of the high-end bar. I don't know that they can do better than that Um, during that six-game stretch. It's just a really tough run of back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back football games. Um, but if they go five and one in that stretch, you're looking at a team that's right around that nine and three mark. Um, if you're right around nine and three by the end of the year with a one loss outside of conference play, you've given yourself an opportunity to make the Big 12 championship with a seven and two conference record. So again, after looking through the schedule, my thoughts on Texas, kind of the talent that they've added, I think this is going to be a pretty good team next year. Now, is pretty good meaning they're going to go eleven and one? I don't think so. Uh, but a nine and three type season or a ten and two type season, I can definitely see in the cards, especially after seeing the schedule as it's laid out. I think there's some favorable matchups here, uh, but I also think the fact that they have to play Kansas State, TCU at Baylor, Texas Tech, Oklahoma, they have a lot of big rivalries on the docket and a lot of games that are going to be very challenging. Uh, because of that so they're gonna have to find a way to persevere through those and frankly talent wise they should be able to Um, so that's it for today i'll have more big 12 schedule analysis coming up later in the week Uh, but thanks for listening this has been crystal ball college football